What's going on, everyone? This is Mitch with SC Weather. Hope you all been having a good weekend. So, uh, as we're rounding out this weekend, next weekend is obviously Halloween. Next Saturday's the official day of Halloween. I know we're six days out, but I'm going to take a shot at the forecast and what I think you can expect for Halloween. Um, we are six days out, so things can change. But I can I can say for sure that even six days out, um, it's looking like a pretty easy forecast, much easier than last year. Last year we had a line of severe storms that moved through that actually caused tornadoes here in Lexington County. Um, didn't, didn't cause any major damage or anything like that, but there was confirmed tornadoes on Halloween right around trick-or-treating time. I don't think it's going to be anything like that. So before we get going, if y'all haven't subscribed yet, uh, much appreciate if y'all do. I'm trying to get um, so, some personal goals out of this YouTube channel by the end of the year. So uh, I just appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. But um, what we have here is we have the European model and we have temperatures. This is the latest European model. Uh, you know, we're getting into, uh, this is the Friday time frame. Friday, um, it's going to be a beautiful Friday heading into the weekend. And what's going to be just a beautiful weekend weather-wise. Uh, beautiful fall air, crisp air mass in place. Uh, highs in the 60s and the 70s across the state with dry air that's moving in. And uh, overnight, as we're getting into Friday night into Saturday morning, lows are going to drop down big time. It's going to be a very chilly night Friday night into Sunday morning. Uh, lows almost statewide are going to get down to the 40s Halloween morning. But I tell you what, it's going to be probably the chilliest Halloween in probably a few years um, in the area as it looks like high temperatures in the 50s and 60s across the state. Um, areas in the upstate, I think this is a little underdone, I guess you would say. Uh, European wants to keep a major trunk, chunk of the um, of the state in the 50s for highs. I don't think that it's going to be that chilly, but I do think it's going to be chilly. It's going to be, I, I think, and I'm going to talk about some official highs, I think, here coming up later in this video, but I kind of think an area in the coastal areas are going to hit probably the 60s and 70s. Midlands are going to stay in the 60s. And upstate have a chance to be locked in the 50s for highs on Halloween. So we uh, Halloween night is going to be quite chilly. Um, temperatures are going to drop um, you know, into the 50s very quickly. And I'm going to get a little bit more detailed on a trick-or-treating forecast here in a second. But uh, we're going to get, what we're going to do here is temp anomalies. So compare, these are temperatures compared to average. So we get into... It looks like the Saturday time frame and Saturday evening for high temperatures, uh, Saturday afternoon, um, it looks like anywhere from 5 to 10 to maybe 15 degrees below normal for high temperature Saturday. So it's going to be a chilly uh, compared to average Halloween, that's for sure. Um, it's going to be kind of a shock because for the last two weeks we've been in the 80s and... Um, so it's going to be much cooler this weekend, that's for sure. As far as rain, I don't see any chance of rain for Halloween at all. I actually think it's going to just be a beautiful all-together weekend. These are actually clouds, uh, percent cloud coverage. Two-thirds of the state, not a cloud in the sky for Halloween. Uh, coastal areas might have some clouds that sneak in later in the day, but altogether, I don't think clouds matter if it's not raining, right? So... Actually, some clouds are making even a more of a, I guess you can say, a spooky look to the day. If you got some cloudy, over overcast skies and uh, cooler temperatures, really just a fall-like day. So I made this little graphic here off Microsoft Paint here. So expect the temperatures for trick-or-treating from 5 to 8 p.m. And things can change. I'm going to update this probably one or two more times throughout the week. But for the upstate, I think from 5 to p.m., it's going to be chilly for the trick-or-treaters. So for sure... Um, if, if they're wearing an outfit that doesn't require a lot of clothing, whether you're at a Halloween party or if it's just your kids, you know, um, definitely keep a coat around because temperatures are going to drop off quick when that sun starts to go down. And if you're at a Halloween party and you're just going to be out late, uh, definitely carry a jacket. Um, here in the Midlands, Columbia, Lexington, uh, you know, Chesterfield, uh, Aiken, Orangeburg, things like that. From 5 to p.m., expect temperatures anywhere from the low 50s to the low 60s. Obviously, the northern areas of this section are going to be colder than the southern areas. Uh, so around the coastal areas, low to mid 60s around trick-or-treating time. Uh, 5 to 8 p.m., so obviously a little bit warmer down there. But altogether, it's just going to be a chilly, a chilly day, which I think people would rather want a chilly Halloween than a hot Halloween, I would think. Um, it just feels feels right it feels more seasonal and uh, I know that's my personal favorite so do not expect any severe weather this Halloween no tornadoes I think it's going to be a beautiful day 
and just a beautiful weekend. So that's all I got. I'll have a better update and a more detailed update, but I honestly don't think this is going to change much here in the next couple days. But that's all I got. Y'all have a great rest of your night.